Coming up on uh, this episode, we are going to be talking about uh, cable and uh, cable modem service. Before we do that, though, just want to spend a little bit of time talking about my company, uh, Moorefield Communications. Uh, we have uh, been in business for, uh, we'll be celebrating 75 years in 2020. Uh, today I'm broadcasting from our Altoona office. Uh, we also have an office in uh, Camp Hill as well. And uh, we work with thousands of companies throughout central Pennsylvania. And uh, as you see below in our, our tagline there is, is our focus is to help companies make smart technology decisions. So if your company is faced with a, a new technology upgrade, uh, looking at uh, purchasing some new technology. Uh, usually there's a lot of risk and there's a lot of uncertainty with, with making that decision, a lot of uh, investigating uh, that has to go on to make that decision. And, and our focus, why we come to work every day, is, is to help those companies make the right technology decision. Use, use data, use information, and use our experience to help your company make the right technology decision. And that's the focus for today, um, is to talk about cable and give you a little bit of information so uh, you can help make the best technology decision regarding uh, cable uh, for your company. So let's get started. So uh, internet access via cable modem, uh, you know, relies on, on this stuff here, this, this coaxial cable, uh, really came around um, to deliver television uh, to our homes. Uh, everybody remembers the, the set top and probably still have, some folks still have the set top cable box. Uh, with thousands of channels available 24-7. Uh, and what the cable companies provide, uh, learned was that that same medium that was used to transmit television to all of our homes could also be used to send internet uh, to all of our homes and businesses. And they've also, over time, layered voice on that as well. Uh, and your internet cable modem, if you have an internet cable modem today, is probably uh, delivered by one of these guys uh, behind me in your house. Uh, a DOCSIS cable modem is, is the acronym for, for the term. And these devices today are uh, usually on either the third or fourth generation. Uh, and the speeds uh, with the service today are, are greatly improved. Uh, so today, speeds via cable modem can approach or exceed uh, one gigabyte of, of bandwidth to the internet. Very fast connection to the internet. As I mentioned, uh, the uh, cable companies are providing voice. Uh, they're also providing internet, and as always, they're providing television as well. Why does this matter for your business? So if you have maybe a break room or a lobby uh, or a reception area, and you want to provide a television for, for your patients or for your customers or your employees, uh, you can bundle your television service with your internet service. And if you have a telephone system that needs some telephone lines, you can also bundle voice services. So by bundling all three, most of the time the cable companies will also extend discounts to you by bundling all the services. Although they bundle the services together on your invoice to save you some dollars, they're still delivering those services over disparate networks. So if you have voice coming from the cable company, that's gonna come over one cable connection, and then your internet service is gonna come over a separate internet connection. Keeps the network segmented, keeps them disparate, minimizes the chances of disruption or interference from one service versus the other. When you're considering a cable modem uh, service, whether you have cable today and you're thinking of upgrading, uh, or maybe you don't have cable today and you're thinking of cable modem for the, for the first time uh, for your business, the services are usually defined by their download speeds. So that's what you see in these invoices behind me. Uh, you'll see the Deluxe 50, the 75, the 100. Those are all download speeds. So that's 100 megabits download, 75 megabits download, 50 megabits download. Cable modem as a service is asynchronous delivery, which means the upload speed is a percentage or a fraction of the download speed. The upload speed is always slower than the download speed. And why does that matter? Why it matters is because as a business, most of the time, if we have applications that are in the cloud, if we have a hosted telephone system that's in the cloud, uh, maybe our electronic medical records or our CRM database, uh, or some line of business application is hosted in the cloud. We need the ability to send as much data up to the internet via upload as we do to, to receive information down or download from the internet. So a business relies more on synchronous communications, as much going up as it does going down, than more asynchronous communications. So most of the time when you're considering a new cable modem service, you want to ask questions about the upload speed, and you want to make sure you clearly understand what the upload speed is for your new internet service. 
A good rule of thumb I always use is, is about 15%. You know, so if you take about 15% of the download, that's probably what you're gonna see for upload. It's not science, it varies by supplier, but again, just as a, a general way or quick broad brush of comparing one service versus another, use 15%. So for the 100 meg service below, if I'm getting a 100 meg download, I would probably expect an upload speed of maybe 15 megabits. And that really comes to the other question I get a lot from our customers and clients is, how do I know which service is best for my business? How do I make the calculations? How do I understand how much bandwidth will I need? Great question. And it's not, it's kind of a, a variance. It depends business to business. Uh, the first thing that I always look at is I look at allowing for overhead and allowing for, for utilization of that circuit. So you never want to design to 100% utilization. Nothing's ever gonna run well or efficiently if it's running at 100%. So you always wanna take a little bit off. Second thing, the routers, the networking equipment, the IP packets, the IP protocol, though all those things have overhead that all contribute to getting you that bandwidth from the internet to your business. So taking all that into consideration, I usually take 75% of my upload speed as the actual bandwidth that I'll use to design for employees. The next thing I do is I look at how are the employees using the internet? Are they monitor internet users? Are they updating electronic health records applications in the cloud? Are they going to a Salesforce or a CRM application that's in the cloud? Are they using a hosted telephone system or maybe doing a lot of video conferencing? Those to me are all modern internet users. And for them, I would probably say for every two employees, I'm gonna allocate one megabit of bandwidth. Uh, if I, my employees maybe don't use the internet as much for their work role, uh, maybe they're just casual web browsers, uh, maybe they're just checking their email throughout the day, there I could get away with a little bit more. So maybe I'll say three employees for every one megabit of, of bandwidth. Uh, so if, if I have a, if I figure out that I'm gonna have a 15 megabits of upload speed, then that connection is going to support either 30 employees if I'm a moderate uh, internet user, or I'm going to support 45 employees if I'm more of a, a light internet user. The last thing to need consider is, is your firewall itself. So as these speeds from the internet providers are coming up, what we are seeing is the older firewall technology uh, and the older firewall appliances don't have the means of, of keeping up. They don't have the, the CPU, they don't have the RAM, they don't have the network interfaces. And so if you're taking the time and the money to upgrade your internet service, it's usually a good idea to at least look at your firewall, understand if it can handle that faster connection, and if it can't handle the faster connection, consider upgrading your firewall at the same time you upgrade uh, your service, your internet service. So that was my last slide, that's all I have for today. I hope I provided a couple tips or bits of information uh, that will help you make a smart technology decision. Uh, as always, you can find more field on the web. Uh, if you like this video or if you have comments or questions, please post them below. We're always checking in on that. And you can also find us on our social media feeds. And we do answer our phones still as well. So uh, give us a call. We'd be happy to stop out, chat with you, chat with your organization, and, and help you make the smart technology decision you need to make for your business. Thank you for your time and we'll see you again soon.